Today is February 4th, 2011, and it's 8.05, and it's Friday, and... Hello? Hold on just a minute. Can you... You know you're being recorded, and can you tell me what's your name? I just need to know what you need what's your name. What's your name? Can you repeat your name? You say you were a call... You, there's no... You're calling me, there's no number that says, it's okay. Okay, and what's your name? You're, you just told me you're a sergeant. You're not telling me your name. Tell me your name, please. Ma'am, this conversation isn't going well already, you know, so but I can help you. Look, it's all being recorded. I'm asking you for your name. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll give you my badge number, okay? Okay, give me your badge number and your first name. Okay. What's your batch number? You didn't say your batch number, so say your batch number. Six one five. And what's your first name? My batch number is six one five, ma'am. And why can you say your name? Doesn't the cops? Is that already identified okay. myself? Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and speak. I just want to know what it is the sheriff's department can do for you. You've been sending some emails to our records bureau, and there's no law enforcement officers in the records bureau. No, I send it to the police department and I send it to your your department. It doesn't matter who I send it to. I'm glad that you acknowledge you receive that. Okay. Okay. There has been. Some, I'm going to tell you what you could do for me. You're going to start. I need you to investigate my case, and I need you as a as a sheriff department to investigate what's going on with Commissioner Arnell and all the fraud that they're committing in this court. They have damaged my daughter's kidneys. They have covered up the truth because it's with CPS. They got paid money to cover up what the doctors did. One of the attorneys, her husband works for Stanford and UC San Francisco. I did not know this at the beginning of my case. I didn't know uh, my constitutional rights. They never told me my constitutional rights. Two, they falsified my signature and a stipulation, so it went to the appeals, which we never signed for him to hear my case, and I could prove it. Okay. So I need you to investigate it's very serious what has happened. He has damaged my daughter's kidneys because, one, he did not do all, all the research of the medical records. We brought him. He denied us. He has put us in jail because my husband tried to send letters. Bell, Frank, he's inti he intimidates us. He, he's the very number one that needs to be investigated as well. I have, it's not just my case. There's other people, too. They have committed also fraud and saying another case that a husband has died and he's very well alive to adopt a kid. My kid got taken away from all the wrong reasons. I'm not a druggie. I'm not an alcoholic. I'm not a rapist. Uh, I'm not none of those. I'm, I'm not a mother that doesn't care. My, I could tell, prove both of my kids who they are and what in their school and who I am as a person. In this court, we never had a chance from day one. He violated everything from us, and when I found out my constitutional rights, and I told him after he, he ordered some treatment for lupus, which he didn't tell us. Do you want to take it to trial? you want to hear it? Do you want me to hear it? As a commissioner, you have a right, blah, blah. He didn't tell me none of that. None of that. He ordered this treatment. All this treatment was done. My daughter went in severe, which I brought the medical records. Another attorney shows up to give it to the court. Nothing happened. And then when I asked for a marshal hearing, he denied me an attorney. When I told him that this attorney, is, her husband works for them, blah, 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 and I told him, too, you did not ever tell me that I could go to trial or hear my, or my case, but I never knew about the other Constitution. And he just told me, don't you know how to shut your mouth? And second, then they wanted to put my daughter in special ed, which this child has never been in special ed, and I could prove it. When I tried to submit papers in that court, I was placed in jail so those papers don't go through. I've all my daughter, how high she's achiever, she's a very good girl. Now they have her on the on the website, Facebook. I would never tolerate any of that. That's why yeah. kids get kidnapped. So I'm telling you, my daughter, the, these co this commissioner has done some serious damage to my daughter, and it's being covered up. Now, if it was such true that I was a bad mother, how come CPS didn't call you guys to come and investigate? Because you know it's very severe when somebody mills, mistreats and abuses a kid or neglects a kid. I'm none of those. None of those. And they cover everything to what happened to my child. And now he has damaged my daughter's kidney. They refused to let us see our daughter 
because guess what? I record it in videotape, but I think that as you as a cop, when you're going to catch a criminal, you record them in videotape to, to find out why are they so against me recording them. And because I don't sign their contract, that if I record on my visit, I'm going to have to pay them each time that I break the contract $120. You tell me if that's justice, because a video camera is going to tell the truth, or a recording is going to tell the truth just the way I'm talking to you right now. It's going to tell you the truth of what was said, not he or she said, or anybody could make up anything and say it. But this, so they have not, I have not seen my daughter in person for a year. And I'm not in a criminal court. I'm in this plain little kid's game that he has damaged my daughter's kidneys. I have told him on his face, but he, and the transcripts, it doesn't show. And we also recorded in court. I don't care, but this is my case. This is my daughter. My, my little girl that didn't deserve what a hospital did to cover up because they got paid money and because one of the attorneys, her husband, works for them. It's, it's not right. You should never cover up anything. It doesn't matter. You need to, when it comes to a human body, especially you, if you get sick you, and somebody is taking care of you, want to make sure that they look at all the details of your med medical records, make sure everything, because you don't want something going wrong to your body. It's very important because you can't repair a body. A body, you can't just say, oh, I'm going to repair it. It's not like a car. It's not that you could just go get parts and, and stuff. And then second, they refuse. We pay for insurance. We're not in welfare. We're not in none of them. They have committed also welfare fraud and all this other stuff, I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing what they do, I mean, and they get away with it. We have our own private insurance. My husband works very hard to provide for our, for our family. Before even my daughter got in, the, and before we got in this court, she already had her own private insurance. And you never, you know very clearly that a private insurance, you have to pay your code pays. That's what we were doing when we had our daughter. Now with that, when the system got into it, they, they manipulated, said, I don't know what, and now my daughter's on Medicare, Welfare, SSI. How can you get all this? And when a child never supposed to even have that. And none of this is being investigated. None of, none, they're getting away with, uh, I mean, attempt to murder. My daughter is in danger. We told them, too, that my husband's going to give them a kidney transplant after we found out that they damaged the kidneys. And guess, and they're never write it on the, on the report. But guess what? I have it all taped up. I have it all very well taped recorded of everything that has happened in my case and it's very important for you to investigate what has happened and I could prove to you of how they lie in a, a report but it doesn't matter if they lie. It doesn't matter because that little commissioner there, he don't care about anything. He doesn't care. He doesn't know how to run a court. He has to wait for Marcus Singleton or Terry them for them to decide for him. They also communicate through emails. I got his email because he was communicated and the ex lawyer that I had gave it to me. So that's how I found out, and that's how I got their emails. I've each and one of them that communicate and do orders through through court, through a computer, not in person. Okay, so I'm understanding that you want the sheriff's department to um, investigate Commissioner O'Neill. Well, it's not just Commissioner O'Neill. It's Commissioner O'Neill, the doctor's CPS. I have everything to prove against them. Just the way I send you, I send pictures to the viewer, investigation recordings of how they mistreat you, and my daughter, she's even getting like, if she's getting hit in my daughter, and my daughter starts crying, I'm making her to feel, feel better after they're trying to take my daughter in the hospital. I didn't go there because I, I wasn't going to commit a scene or a big, I just, I said, I call my daughter. And that's what happened. And Donna Smith, and none of that's on the report. None of that, everything has been recorded. And I told that commission when I started first day in court, I don't care, this is my case, this is my daughter. This is my poor little girl that didn't disturb what a hospital did. And they committed now the worst is one, damaged her kidneys, and who knows what else. They refused us to take her to another hospital. Where is your daughter now? They moved her all the way to, uh, to Palo Alto. Uh, they moved her all the way over there be because I was asking them, and I have it recorded, when I'm telling her. We went over the medical records with the social worker, Angie Tate. I t we went over, and she goes, she does exactly what she told me. Doctors could agree to disagree, and I told her very clearly when it comes to your body, no, you can't disagree to, this, to agree. Okay, let's go. And so she, she's, my daughter's all the way in, in Palo Alto. Mm -hmm. I just need to ask you another question. Where is she in Palo Alto? She, I, I, I don't know exactly her address. Okay. They, I haven't seen my daughter. When I, when I was going to go, we went a year ago to go see her, and, you know, we would always do our visits, but they did all this. Do you have any family members that, that know that? Uh, no, I don't. I don't have any any family mem members that they know where she's at. I'm not. Okay. How uh, how, the, how can I get get a hold of your daughter to um, get her medical records? Uh, you should ask Commissioner O'Neill. They have everything. That you have the power to go ask for the Commissioner O'Neill. They have all the medical records. 
There's nothing that has that. Ask them what I submitted to the appeals and to them. Because they... Re Who is your case worker? It was Angie Tate. They all refused to meet with me. I have all the emails. Even um, Nick down, Honey. Slow down, Ms. Gill. I understand mm -hmm. you're upset. Angie who? Angie Tate. Okay. That's her her case worker right now? I don't know who's your case worker. As soon as they make a mistake, they want to change to another one, and I tell them, no, I'm not changing to another social worker. I don't have a problem. The problem is that you don't write your report correct. The problem is that you don't let the court tr know the truth. I have it all emailed, all of it. Everything that you need to know, I have it. Nick Honey refuses to meet with me. The emails that you've sent us, and I'm having a hard time following exactly what you were trying to say. So your problem is with not only the commissioner, but CPS and who else? Well, CPS is the one that brought it to this court. The doctors that made the mistake. Did you see the pictures and the recording? That's one of NCT's. Do you know why your your daughter was moved to a secret location? They already put her before in a secret location. Uh, no, I don't know. No, that, I don't know, because we're not criminals. My daughter loves us to death. Do you, I mean, do, you still, do you still have custody of your daughter? Yeah, I still have custody. They haven't did not determine our custody because they're collecting money from collecting money from my husband, and plus they're saying back child support. Met he's the one that provides medical insurance, but they're also getting other insurance from Medicare and putting my daughter on, on money from the aid from the uh, treasurer. So from that's what? why treasurer the um, how you call it the I, I can't say it, the supervised treasurer. That's how they put it, so pretty much yeah, we, they don't let us see my daughter just because I do not sign a paper. Just because I don't sign a contract of rules that we never had to follow. follow. You could go to the school of my daughter's before her school. You could talk to all her teachers because we were always very volunteering and all the stuff that my daughter did. And my son, I have an older son. Very how, long have you lived in, how long have you lived at your current address? Where I live right now, I've been living here almost going to be a year. Okay. We moved over here not because we decided just to run away because my husband got a higher position to become a manager for the store. That's why. Not because we just decided to run away or I don't have nothing. I've been trying to go before to the police station. They refuse. I have it recorded. Okay. Also, I, know, I understand. Is your husband there by chance right now? Yeah, he's here with me. Okay. What is your husband's name? Thomas Bojo. It's on the email as well. Everything's on the email. If you, if have you, me on. Yeah, I have you all on speakerphone. On. Do you have me on speakerphone? Is he sitting right there? Yeah. Th Thomas, can you hear me? Yes. Um, what is it that you think I should do about this? What you need to do is go to the district attorney okay. and have the district attorney look into this case. Okay. Now, was your daughter assigned counsel when the, the uh, hearings took yes, place? She, yes, she was. That's why the district okay. attorney needs to go to the court and pull the file. So they need to go to the records you, and pull the file. Did, did you and your wife have an attorney? We were appointed attorneys before we even went to court. So the whole thing was the whole thing was corrupt from the start. So in order in order in order for this investigation to work, what you need to do, like I told you, is go to the district attorney, have the district attorney go to the records department, pull the juvenile dependency court record, the entire record for my daughter. Okay. That's what needs to be done from the start. And then what you need to do as well, being that you asked me what you think I need what I think you need to do, okay. is pull the record, read the records, look into it, form some questions, and then give us a call back and then we can go over your questions at that point. Okay. Because right now if you ask us any questions, I I would like you to review the case, review the entire file, ask us questions, we can rebut those questions to you with what actually happened, not what's in the record, what they're alleging happened. Well, tell me what we signed in the time. Okay. Now, as, as far as the commissioner goes, uh, I can't investigate the commissioner, or and the DA's office can't investigate the commissioner. Has, has anyone told you about the Commission on Judicial Performance? Can you? Uh, yes, they have, but can you investigate the case? Not, less, not necessarily the commissioner, but well, the I, case in its I entirety. Understand. I understand. Just give me, a, if you can, a thumbnail sketch of what what the wrong, what you think is the wrong or the criminal action that took place against you and your wife involving your daughter. Well, I'd like you to read the file first prior to, prior to us going into that. Have you 
have you reviewed the emails that your wife has sent? Yes, yes I have. Okay. Okay. I mean, if you want me, I could always open them up so we could read them together when, if you're saying that well, you can't I'd understand. Like, I'd like for him to look, in, look into the case first. I mean, it's, I mean, if, if you're honestly, wholeheartedly willing to look into this case, we would greatly appreciate it. If well, you're, if the you're, thing is, is I'm not seeing any, uh, what I'm hearing is not anything criminal. It sounds like there was a court case that went on, you were both assigned counsel, um, and you weren't happy with the commissioner's decision to um, take your daughter and put her, I guess, in foster care is what I'm understanding, and you want me to investigate the commissioner and the CPS and take the records to the district attorney office, but essentially what you need to do is, it sounds like from what you're telling me is, you need to hire your own attorney to review the case to try to get your daughter back. Okay, but one thing is anybody that hires their own attorney and goes into that courtroom, the uh -huh. commissioner, commissioner within a matter of 10 minutes kicks them out. Okay. Just do you know that do you know that both parties have to stipulate to have your commissioner hear their case? Yes, and... Okay, thanks for saying that, because here's how you just said that there's no crime. Okay, let me tell you one. When we first walked in, this, we got served. We didn't got served properly uh, while we were going to court. Okay, it seems like you already spoke. It, it seems like you already spoke with somebody, because that's not what I wrote to you in my paper, in my email. That's nothing what I wrote to you. I wrote to you that Commissioner O'Neill, I sent you... I'm, I'm listening. Listen to what I'm saying. I know you don't like to hear what I got to say. I know you just. I, I want to hear what you have to okay, say. Okay. Well, let me repeat it again because let me repeat it, please, again. You got. You're. Let me re please repeat it again before I forget. I'm asking you to please let me repeat it again. Can you just lower your voice and slow down? My voice is always very loud. You could ask my son. You could ask anybody. I have a very loud voice. You could talk. My, I grew up from, from a family that my dad has a very loud voice. I can't help it, and I'm sorry that I can't talk to you the way you would like it to be sound to your well, ears. Well, years. That's the way I speak. I, I'm telling you that this is my voice. Okay. I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't go lower for you, or I can't put the volume. I, 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 you know, I have, no, I have no sound that I could turn down. I always speak very loud. Can I just finish? Thought? Okay, so let, uh, your thought. Okay, well, you can hold your thought, but let me tell you, just the way you say it, I have to sign a stipulation. We never got served correctly papers, one. Two, they just gave us a card saying that we have to appear in court and a, a welfare, something, a voucher of welfare. That's how we got served. We didn't get no served, no papers as to why we were going to court. When we first went to court on December 17, 2008, we walked in. They already knew who my husband was, Bonito Alonso, and... Mrs. Um, Kathleen Smith, that's the one I'm telling you that her husband works for Stanford that committed the horrible and UC, uh, Stanford and UC San Francisco. Uh, again, I'm going to repeat if you're saying that there's no crime, okay? When we walked in there, I brought all the medical records, pictures to prove and, uh, the wrong dinos on my daughter. We walked in. We explained to them everything outside. They already knew who we were. We were already assigned attorneys be, before we even walked in the court to say you have to be assigned, do you play guilty or not guilty, these are the charges, none of that, because I could prove it, okay? When we walked inside, the, we explained to them all the errors, everything that ha happened to my daughter. When we walked in that court, nothing was explained. None of, none of these two did what they had to do. They, they want to give the, the commissioner didn't want the rec medical records. He just said, your daughter has a little bit of blah, blah. This is what they're saying. He made it seem like the, he, that the hospital gave my daughter an infection. No, my daughter had it from day one, and they never took care of it. I told him about the, all the errors of the catheters for dialysis that cost a lot of money, that with one placement, it, it, it's very well. But when they use different people, it doesn't work. That All that thing, he ordered treatment for lupus. He refused our medical records. I, I explained to him everything. He didn't, he didn't care because these two attorneys weren't doing it. When we told him to submit the medical records, he refused them, and our attorneys didn't want to give it to them. Okay, we already brought him from day one. He made us, he told us that we had an order to sign a form of release of medical records. I don't have a, I don't have a problem. I was giving it to him right there. We did that in front of him, the attorneys, and all of them. Then they wanted me to sign something else. I told them, I ain't signing nothing else. I told my attorney that I didn't want him to hear my case. I, I, I told him, I'm not signing nothing else. That's the only thing I signed. You said very clearly, a stipulation. You have to sign. We never signed. They committed fraud in signing my stipulation that I never signed. That's one criminal right there. And I could prove to you that they're committing more crimes, not just in my case and another one, because we recorded everything and we went in person. And it's that, and also the transcripts 
Another person, I did it. I recorded here while they were sitting over there. And, and we prove how the transcripts, how they lie and don't say the truth. Okay? Because you know what? I'm a mother. and Another person is a mother. We're not playing games. Maybe they never had somebody like this. Like he told me, you're going against some good people, Mrs. Ma uh, Terry Howard. I, told, I don't care who I'm going at. When it comes to my daughter, I'm not. And I told him to, to put us in a criminal court. He refused. He's, he refused. He refused to answer to anything that we said. He just threatened our. Uh, he threatens our life. That's what happened the very first time. So he, he. They never told us our constitutional rights. He ordered treatment. Did you blow your voice? Okay. He ordered treatment for lupus. Let me ask a question. Who threatened your life? Commissioner O'Neill. Threatened your life. Where did he do that? Okay. He put me in jail because I tried to submit papers. He ha That's threatening your life. When I'm trying to speak in there, he won't let you speak. He threatened my husband's life just oh, because... Oh, no. No, you said he threatened my life. When he told me, don't you know, how? because I was in there by myself. Okay, let me finish my whole thing. Then you could ask me that question. I'm going to answer you. The, I'm going to answer you that question. I'm going to answer you that question as soon as. Cut you off. Cut you off real quick. I got to stop you. Okay. It's nothing personal, but you're talking very fast and very loud, and on the speakerphone, it's not working. I'm only getting about half of what you're saying. No, I think you're getting it. You just don't want to get it. That's the problem because in my email, I didn't give you none of the information. I didn't give you. Okay, later on we'll see if you can't read them or somebody else could read them because you know what some of them must be so the pictures don't make sense and the recording that I sent to you guys pictures have, I, I don't even know what I'm looking at well maybe well, well probably you okay probably you need to go ask the bureau where well, you just told me that I've been sending them to them tell them to okay, give I'm you the picture you to a private attorney mail no, you, about, it's okay. you know what, I already told you the criminal acts, Sergeant. I already told you. Remember the criminal acts that I have told you from the beginning. I told you they commit a fraud. That's a criminal act. You are refusing to hear what has been said. I told you my daughter's in danger. She needs a kidney transplant. They refuse to have my husband give it to her. You're not listening to my, my way to resolve we don't, This is not a re I don't need an attorney to resolve the fraud that has been committed in that court. We have other proof. I'm telling you, and I have sent it to you. So, and, and, and somehow you do understand what is being, but you don't want to understand because it's Sonoma, and I know you got, That's I know it's very true. scared that to, that to get a lawsuit. I know that. Would you like your own kidney to be damaged because something was not right, properly rebuked? Finish your thought, ma'am. Go ahead. Let's see what else you got. Your thought. Let's see your thought. Come on. I haven't even been able to complete a thought. I was going to tell you what it sounds like you're talking about is malpractice, right, by the doctors, number one. And number two, you had a court hearing in front of a judge. It's not a judge. It's a commissioner temporary. So please, Millis, Commissioner or Nell? I'm sorry, a commissioner. Or okay. Nell. In, in Sonoma County, that you're it's, not happy with the decision. It's not that I'm not happy with the decision. Re, let's recall again. He didn't properly review the medical records. I brought it to him. Let's see how many times I'm going to repeat this. I can't understand you. Okay, let, 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 it's very... Can you back away from the phone a little bit? You're just a tad... Yeah, it's very interesting that you can't understand. Oh, wow, you can't. You can, but if, I bet you if I was right here telling you, oh, yes, Sergeant, okay, I need to get an attorney, I will do that. Then you would really understand what is being said to you. I'm going to end this conversation. I don't like the way you're talking, and now you're mimicking me, and I'm, I'm not, I'm going to end this Oh, okay, you failed to do something for my my daughter. Right. Not because... Anymore, okay? I'm going to contact you again, and I'm going to email you a hundred times. So you tell me that the crime that has happened against my daughter, I can't report it. Then you don't tell me. I'm not. I'm not. If you want to arrest me, then you come arrest me and you charge me in a criminal court. Do you understand me, Sheriff? Uh, I'm. They make no. I'm going to call.